The way home or face the fire. The survival plan for all human plus beings. Chapter 8. The Shining Example. The Light of the World. Jesus gave the parable, illustrative story, of the vineyard, world, and the owner of the vineyard, God, and his husbandmen, or workers, priests, and the servants of the owner, the prophets, and the son of the owner, Prince Michael, Christ, Matthew 21, 31-46, Mark 12, 1-13, and Luke 20, 9-21. Whether of them twain did the will of his father? They say unto him, The first, Jesus saith unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the taxmen and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not. But the taxmen and the harlots believed him, and ye, when ye had seen it, repented not afterward, that ye might believe him. Here another parable. There was a certain householder, which planted a vineyard, and hedged it around about, and digged a winepress in it, and built a tower, and led it out to the husbandmen, and went into a far country. And when the time came of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen, that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandman took his servant, and beat one, and killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. But last of all he sent unto them his son, saying, They will respect my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him. Let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him, and cast him out of the vineyard, and slew him. And when the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will ye do unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits of their season. Mark 12, 1. And he began to speak unto them by parables. A certain man planted a vineyard, and set a hedge around it, and digged a place for the wine fat, and built a tower, and let it out to the husbandmen, and went into a far country. And at the season he sent to the husbandmen a servant, that he might receive from the husbandmen of the fruit of the vineyard. And they caught him, and beat him, and sent him away empty. And again he sent unto them another servant, and at him they cast stones, and wounded him in the head, and sent him away shamefully handled. And again he sent another, and him they killed, and many others, beating some, and killing some. Having yet therefore one son, his well-beloved, he sent him also last unto them, saying, They will respect my son. But those husbandmen said among themselves, This is the heir, come, let's kill him, and the inheritance shall be ours. And they took him, and killed him, and cast him out of the vineyard. What shall therefore the lord of the vineyards do? He will come and destroy the husbandmen, and will give the vineyard unto others. And have ye not read the scripture? The stone which the builders rejected is become the head of the corner. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in your eyes. And they sought to lay hold on him, but feared the people, for they knew that he had spoken the parable against them. And they left him and went their way. And they send unto him certain of the politicians and of the Herodians to catch him in his words. Luke chapter 20 verse 9. Then began he to speak to the people this parable. A certain man planted a vineyard, and led it forth to the husbandmen, and he went into a far country for a long time. And at the season he sent a servant to the husbandmen, that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard. But the husbandmen beat him, and sent him away empty. And again he sent another servant, and they beat him also, and treated him shamefully, and sent him away empty. And again he sent a third, and they wounded him also, and cast him out. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. It may be they will respect him when they see him. But when the husbandmen saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. Cross-reference Ezekiel 48, 21-22. So they cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. What therefore shall the Lord of the vineyard do unto them? He shall come and destroy these husbandmen, and shall give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, God forbid. And he beheld them, and said, What is this then that is written? The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. Whosoever shall fall upon the stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And the chief priests and the lawyers the same hour sought to lay hands on him. And they feared the people, for they perceived that he had spoken this parable against them. And they watched him, and sent forth spies, which should fiend themselves just men. 
that they might take hold of his words, that so they might deliver unto him the power and authority of the governor. They asked him, saying, Master, we know that thou sayest and teach rightly. Neither accept you the person of any, but teach the way of God truly. Through the parable of the vineyard, Jesus was foretelling that the priests, who had beaten and murdered God's prophets, messengers, would murder his son, and that God will destroy the priests and the non-believers in the fire on the last day, if they do not repent. The Jewish people never repented because they refused to accept that Jesus was God's son, incarnated, and to follow his teachings and example. The New Testament is absolutely full of messages against priests, their organized religions, lawyers, and politicians. It was the priests and their religion that had Jesus nailed to the cross, leaving a permanent testimony to the world of how priests and organized religions belonged to Satan and had murdered the human animal that was worn by Christ, God's Son. Just how obvious does it have to be before you can see the truth? After all Jesus said and went through on the cross to show that organized religion is wrong, there are more religions today than ever before. You can be sure that on Prince Michael Christ's second coming, when he brings the same message again, the message and the truth will never change. All the priests in the world, Satan's unwitting employees, and especially the Pope, will be the first to call him insane and a blasphemer. The Pope will probably try to excommunicate him and tell him that he, Prince Michael, will never go to heaven for saying that God is his father. What a joke. It is the Pope who will never go to heaven. Heaven is Christ's home. He is the Prince of Heaven. The Pope, however, is a servant of Satan and will burn with him. The priests all have their very lucrative business to protect and their positions of respect and power over the people to protect too. 